afternoon ladies and gents and you're looking at the historic St Michael Cole Abbey Church which is a centre for worship and ministry nowadays which is modern basic religion which is very uh, uh, wishy-washy kind of thing not old school put it that way but yeah it's a nice church it's open in the daytime and this one looks beautiful at night time I must admit I will come back here this evening and I will film it for you so you can see it at the night time it's lit up at night time it's one of the lantern churches or it's known as the lantern churches which is all lights and uh, clear glass windows and such but yeah this is the outside we'll go and see the inside in a sec so I shall pause this and you will join me inside now the people are all gob give you a little bit of a view of this side of the church we're on Old Fish Street Hill and in we go I may have to pause you when we get round this way. To get into the church, you have to go round this way, and there's like a little cafe area outside the church. So. Well, that clock's wrong, wherever it's coming from. But yeah, you have to go around this way. It's a little cafe area here. Oh no, it is right, beg my pardon, it's a quarter striker, so it strikes the hours and it's one o'clock. So yeah, you go round here, I'm going to pause you a sec because there could be people sitting round here, so we'll see. I am happy to report unto thee that there is no one sitting out here. It's rather cold, so this doesn't surprise me. But this gives us a better view of the church along this way. Right, guys and girlingtons, I shall pause you a minute while I remove my hat, and in we go. It's a little thing on the wall here, in memoriam of the members of St Nicholas Cole Abbey who gave their lives in the two world wars of 1914 to 1918. F. H. Deeks, S. Hearn, A. Long, M. G. Porter, F. Sayer, L. S. Harp, K. C. Shuttleworth, W. H. T. Williams, T. Wood, 1939 to 45, Cecilia Maud Cribb. So, yeah, as I say, I'll remove my hat and in we go. And we're in. Um, I can't point you down too much over this way because it's a coffee area. I don't want to film people without their consent, obviously, but. And I always say the high altar till last, and it's a pretty special one in this one. This won't be a very long um, recording, of course. A lot of the churches nowadays, they're either put over to other uses, or they remain closed. Like St Clement's, he's cheap. Which is hard to get into because I've never once seen it open, but there we are. So we have to see if there's anything over here. Not sure if there is or not. Just the architecture more than anything than that. This one was obviously damaged in the Second World War and uh, a lot of restoration as many of the London churches. I like the Royal Arms. There's a picture of that. A picture of some of this detail. font in there over so I'll show you that first. And then there's an old piano and a pew. Sorry. Some pretty impressive stained glass as well which I'll show you 
at the end bit, as I always do. area which is the pulpit and um, piano so I'll pause you a sec there we are don't be pointing down at the floor do you it's got a nice carved altar rail in here as well so I'll shoot that as well in a minute just like Carol told me to look out for to the glory of God and in the memory of James Wood of London citizen and B O is that Boyer who was buried in this spot on the 23rd of July M D A X X I X this altar step that was repaired A D oh it's all in Latin I hate that Worshipful Company of I have no idea what that, that is, I can't even pronounce it to be honest with you. B O L O G U A N. Boldias. I have no idea what they are or who they are, so I will snapshot that and do some more research on it. Yeah, you've got piano over here. Very nice. That's lovely, look. Just getting some photos off. I don't know if this is a Grinlin Gibbons one, but it looks very like. Not to knock anything over or damage anything. <coughs> oh, this is the altar rail, I was telling you, the altar rail thing I was saying about. saving the best till last which was the altar with the stained glass windows closer so I can see the uh, window of the screen thing there, that's it.
Just photographing all that lot. over to the other one now. Oops. photographs of that lot taken, apart from the piano, which I'll do now, preferably without falling A over T. Lovely. Imagine the privilege of being allowed to play that. They probably have concerts and things like that here. Most of the churches do. Right, guys and girls, as I said, it wasn't going to be a particularly long one. Got a few more snaps. Now I have to try and see if there's anywhere you can leave a donation for the building or whatnot, and ask if you can have a look in the church tower, which I very doubt, very much doubt, but there we are. So yeah. The Royal Arms of England, being a Church of England church. It's got some lovely carving in here, look. enjoyed that um oh you've got ah oh, just noticed that over here look that's um let's use an umbrella stand now that's a good idea actually it's nice to see one being used oh, it's damaged though um this is uh where the worthies and all that used to put their swords in the old days like the, the mayor sheriff and all that only high up type people were even allowed to bring a sword into a church but I'm surprised to see that treated like this, I must admit. There we are. Hmm. Yes, where the swords used to go. You see the thing there where you can put an umbrella now. Put your sword there in those in the old days. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that one. Take care everyone and I will see you all at the Museum of London, which is my next location. So. That's nice. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Righty ho. There we go. Back out into modern London. And I'll give you the view from the sh Oh, I nearly fell. <laughs> I sounded like that bloke from Little Britain then. He fell. <laughs> I'll give you the view from the street. This is the main entrance after all. Very plain church looking church. I've not had time to do the research on this one today. This is where the old gate things go but people use that to scrape the mud off their shoes nowadays but it, it wasn't intended for that purpose. But that's what people use it for. 
thinking it was that but now it's to the gate but yeah it's a nice old church um the description history and all that kind of thing will be or well, the history will be in the description i think it's probably a wren but i'm not quite sure because um it was a bit of an impromptu one i wasn't sure if it was going to be open what their opening times were i came the other day and uh, asked someone and they didn't speak very good english at all so they couldn't understand me i couldn't understand them Nice people in there. Friendly, it's a coffee bar. It's open from 7.30 till 4.30. Warm. Go in there and they pride themselves that you can buy one coffee or tea and stay in there for as long as you like. And after the 4.30 thing, they do a lot of stuff for the, the homeless. So that's nice. And we will be back here later on to see this, hopefully, if I'm in time, all lit up at night because it really does look beautiful. Then you'll see what I mean about one of the lantern churches but yeah this is the church of St Nicholas Cole Abbey Centre for Worship and Ministry that's very um, modern trendy type of ministry I went to one of those churches once and I was greeted by the vicar with hey man and he was English and I was like good god I was raised old school right? I'm the type of person that goes in there and you expect bless you my son or Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I am very old-fashioned, I know. There we are. Anyway, you see St. Nicholas Coal Abbey in the day. It's Bell Tower, which I don't even know if it's got bells anymore or they're used. I will try and find out about that one. They say if I come on Sunday, and I'm not about this Sunday because I want to have a, a bit of a rest for the day because I've been busy with the page lately and, that, and, and spend a bit of time indoors with my family. So that'll be next Sunday because this church is not running away. But wouldn't it be nice to get inside there? If I can, I'll email them in the meantime because this is where I want to get up into. But I very much doubt that they'll allow that. I wouldn't go up on that because one, it doesn't look safe. And two, I know for the balcony, two, I know for a, a cert that they'll not allow it. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely old church. And if you come back at night time or come in the evening, around about four o'clock, 4.30, you see it all lit up and it's known as one of the lantern churches because of all its windows like um st james gullicaif anyway see you all later on hopefully if not then you've just had the church by day take care all see you later or see you soon who knows there we are guys and girls and as promised <coughs> I come back and made it in time. It's closed to the uh, visiting public now, but they do a lot of stuff with homeless people in the evenings. So, and once upon a time, all the lantern windows in the church tower would have been lit. Yeah, it's a pretty church. Sorry. you see the stained glass from the opposite side now. Old Fish Street Hill. Get far enough back. There we are. Schnepp. getting some photos yeah, as I say it's a nice old church obviously a fair amount of restoration after the uh, Second World War oh, yeah yeah one of the so-called or so they call them lantern churches the ones with lots of windows are known as the lantern churches and a lot of them are dark at night but in an age when religion was very important and nearly everyone went to church either because they wanted to or because you'd be fined if you didn't the churches were full of life I don't know in the old days whether they closed their doors at night time or whatnot, but I do know that 
all across London you'd go at the night time and you'd see the candles burning brightly in the church and as is today or should be or whatnot there is always a candle burning on the altar apparently that should never go out which is meant to be the ever-present light of God so there you are and there you have the Church of St Nicholas Cole Abbey hope you all found that one interesting so we've had the daytime and the nighttime exterior view I like to see a building in daytime and nighttime because you do get the different moods for it and as I say this does look lovely at the nighttime with the lights on and everything so yeah thanks for watching <laughs>